Hey guys, I'm back and as I said in the last video, I'm going to try to get all these fines videos in. So that's kind of a goal here. Anyway, I went to that newer record store again uh, yesterday. So I got a couple of things and I'm excited to show you these. Um, actually, believe it or not, probably half or more of these finds I actually passed up uh, the first time I went to the store. But I still found some other cool stuff for the first time there. Alright, so I hope they're all here, so let's get to it. Right here I have an Animals 10-inch uh, EP. I don't have many 10-inches, uh, but this one's cool. It's from 2015, actually, but still looks pretty new. Yeah, the songs I hear are I'm in love, bury my body, I'm mad again, and she said yeah. Alright, I got a couple 12-inch uh, singles over here. I don't have a lot of 12-inch singles either, but um, I got Paul McCartney Take It Away. Um, it was just $4. I decided to get it this time. Um, and the cool thing too, it's actually UK pressing. I don't even think the store knew that, but... And here I actually have a sealed 12-inch single that I'm going to reveal to you. It's actually the Beatles Love Me Do. Um, yeah, this came out in, I think, the 80s. So it's been sealed for at least 30 years. Um, and I actually passed up the first time. It was only like 20 bucks. Um, let's open it for you. Alright, we're starting to get it open now. Um, it's weird, it doesn't have an inner sleeve. I think maybe that's just how these are. But, it was sealed, so. As you see, the side is kind of bent, but I don't think the record is. Oh, I love that label. Look at that. It uses the original, like, 45 label. Um, it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, that's pretty cool. It looks in great condition, so. The side A on here has Love Me Do and P.S. I Love You. Inside B has a Love Me Do original single version, so. Okay, you know now I'm going to be showing you the rest of our LPs. So yeah, first one, I've been passing this record up for years, but then I saw it for $10 and I decided to just get it. It's the Ruddles. Um, if you guys know, they're like kind of a parody band of the Beatles in the 70s. Um... Yeah, I actually like the music. The music sounds similar to the Beatles. It just kind of like changed up lyrics and stuff. That's cool. The cover is a little worn. I've probably seen better copies in the past. But I said I just get it finally. Um, it does have a booklet here. But it's unattached. I don't know if it's supposed to. Um, I'll show you a few pages. Yeah, and the record, it's nothing special, just on the Warner Brothers label. The record uh, looks a little worn. I don't know if they had to clean this or not. I found this underneath, but I saw it was priced, so yeah, and here's the inner sleeve. Okay, next, this is a cool one. It's a Paul McCartney record. It was only six bucks. I got a copy of London Town. It's actually a Mexican pressing. And there's a poster in here. I have a copy of this record, a standard one, and I have this poster, but I'm not... I feel like this poster didn't even come with this record, but I could be wrong. I don't really remember this coming with a poster, but I don't know. Like I said, it was only $5, and it's a Mexican pressing. It looks in good shape. There's, a lot, there's marks. Um, well, it was only 6 bucks. I actually saw... Quite a few Paul McCartney import records, but I just got this one. Okay, right here, this is John Lennon record here. It's only 10 bucks. It's his Imagine album, but it's a uh, pressing from Russia. Um, so I decided to get it, but honestly, I'm not, 
I'm not that big on Russian pressings, mainly because of the, I just think the artwork looks really cheaply made, and the labels. I just don't like how they look. Um, but I thought it was still cool to get. For cheaply made records, though, I kind of just prefer the Taiwan records. I just think they look more cool. But honestly, this was not bad to get. Alright, here's a record that I saw the first time I was there, but I decided to get it now. Um, and I'm glad I did. It was 20 bucks, and it's the story of The Who. It's actually a UK pressing. Um, it's a double album compilation. I at first thought it was just a lot of their regular singles on here, but it has some more expanded stuff on here. And it doesn't have some of the same random songs like Buck of Tea. But it still has some good stuff. You know, I kind of wish that included the song Long Live Rock. That's almost my favorite Who song. This compilation came out in like 76. Yeah, there's his booklet in here. Um, next, cool, that's this timeline thing of the band from when they started up to when the Who formed. So it's kind of like all the member changes. Yeah, there's some cool stuff on here. Um, I'm just honestly not the biggest Tommy fan, so I could kind of do without Side 3 being all Tommy stuff. Um, but it still has, like, stuff that I really love. Like, it has the Summertime Blues from Live at Leeds. It has Bob O'Reilly Won't Get Fooled Again. And interesting enough, the song My Generation on here, they use the Live at Leeds version. Um, but it's just, it's cut down to like three and a half minutes because their Live at Leeds version is like 15 minutes long. So here's the record. So yeah. Okay, next record. I'm actually pretty glad I picked it up. It's 25 bucks. It's actually a record I already have. It's a bootleg by The Who called Who Zoo. Um, I passed it up the first time because I already have it. But now I decided to just get it and I'm actually quite happy about that um but i actually thought the bagging was was like tape shucks i couldn't get to the records at the store but then i managed to do it when i got home but i realized that the records actually are a different label than the one i already have the ones i have just say like one two three four something like that but this one's actually different it has like a logo on it um and the records look pretty good condition uh, man, overall, it just looks better condition. There's no splits. Um, and the paper almost looks like it was just put on. So, I'm actually glad to have a better copy. The one I already have, though, I kind of was just stupid with it. And I colored in, like, the letters and everything. But this also said it's an import. So, I don't know if it really is. I don't know if my other copy is or not. But this was pretty good. We're almost to the end, actually. So, okay, guys, call me crazy, but uh, I bought another copy of this album. I already have it if you saw one of my recent videos. But I actually decided to even grab it more because I noticed it was cheaper than I originally thought. I thought it was 40 bucks, but it turns out it's only 30 I got a second copy of Beatles 6, um, Japanese Country Flag Series. I literally just never see these in person. It's the only one I've seen in person. All my other ones I got online. Um, but I just really wanted to get this. Um, and it actually looks pretty good condition. The sad thing is it does include the lyric sheet or OB. So you guys are probably thinking I'm crazy because of that. But you know, I just can't pass it up. Um, this could basically be a play copy because these records sound fantastic. You see the label. Yeah, it looks pretty good shape. All right, this record is only $30. Um, it's a Beach Boy Surfing USA. It's actually a Japanese pressing. Um, in the back, this is the uh, insert. This has the OB insert, as you just saw. Um, it looks like mint condition. Um, you can see the booklet here. Pretty cool. I collect any. If I see Japanese stuff like this, I'll definitely grab it. 
Um, you can see the back. It's like the regular cover. Um, the cover actually looks like it's a different texture to it. If you can see. It's pretty cool. You see the record. I'm actually not too fond of this record label. Um, it's just the regular Orange Capital label, which I don't like. But this Japanese pressing, I can't help it. And this is honestly a great album. It's like one of my favorite Beach Boys records. I think I heard the majority of their 60s albums. So I think I, I have them all now. So but I really I really like this one. It's kind of just like a fun record to listen to. Okay, these last two are just really killer ones. I didn't know I'd find these easy. Here we go. This record I saw the first time I passed up. And glad I got it now. And it was only 30 bucks. I thought it was 40 That's kind of why I passed it up the first time. But I'm glad no one got it. And it's uh, George Harrison Wonderwall music. Um, yeah, I'm so glad to get this. I also originally thought it was supposed to be on the Zappo label. So that's why I didn't end up getting it. But then when I looked on Discogs, I was like pissed off. Because... It's just a regular Apple label. But yeah, the record, it's like, it almost just looks like it's on the surface. There's like marks, but it's not, it doesn't look like scratches that much. But yeah, I'm really glad to get this. I thought it was really rare. I don't know if I overpaid, but it looks pretty good condition. And it has this insert here. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, it was really, really happy to get this in my collection it's like a 60s solo beatles record so it's cool to get okay this last one um i cannot believe i found this it was only 30 bucks it's george harrison electronic sound now this literally looks like mint condition the cover has like it's kind of different it has like a metallic looking thing to some of the design on the cover but yeah i literally just found this in the george harrison section it wasn't like in any special spot i was glad no one grabbed it this is the record that's on the zapple label looks pretty good condition once again this almost looks like uh like surface marks so i actually heard some of this album online in the past it's kind of like a weird experimental record, but I just wanted to get it for the collection. So, I'm glad. So yeah, guys, um, those are all my finds from the new record store. I went the second time, and I'm sure I showed everything that I got there. Um, so hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm really going to try to get all these uh, finds up, because I'm just sick and tired of having finds all over the place. Because after I record all these, I'm just going to put them away, storm into my collection. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for all the other ones. So.